Welcome back to the channel. Here's another update with the recent mining pool shutdowns. And this one comes out of Ethermine. Plenty of other creators have kind of alluded to this as well, but I broke it on Crypto Wendio's channel live on Friday, October 1st to a very, very large audience that was extremely excited about the alpha leak because this affects not just miners, but everybody who trades using Ethereum. You ready to see it? Yeah. So just like the title, indicated ethermine is offering private rpc endpoints now the web address above is rpc.ethermine.org and you can see it right here right so all you have to do is change that under the rpc url inside of metamask it's really straightforward there's nothing um dark or mysterious about it it's just a new rpc and here's what's happening behind the scenes instead of the broader ethereum network finalizing your transaction the Ethermine pool is writing its own block. So this is now made private. And this is the future of Ethereum transactions. Pandora's box is open now, right? The genie's out of the bottle. It's not going back in. Now, Ethermine currently enjoys an extremely high percentage of the net hash on Ethereum. It might be a good idea for more of the network to diversify, but they're not quite at that 50% mark or 51% mark. And the likelihood of them being able to finalize a block and write your transaction into a block is a function of time. It's not programmed in the same way that it would be for validators on proof of stake networks where it's, you know, a specific time that's designated for each one. But this does mark a departure from the way that things were done before in terms of writing a transaction to the blockchain. So here with MetaMask pointed at Ethermine, right? You can call it Ethermine RPC. You can really name the network anything you want. Right, it can be Ethereum on Ethermine if you wanted to call it that, just so that you right here where it says Ethereum mainnet, that network name is going to be whatever you put there. So Ethermine RPC is fine, but if you want to be reminded that you're transacting on Ethereum, then uh, or that your transactions will finalize onto the Ethereum blockchain, then you can name this whatever you want. The important thing is for you to add the right RPC URL, just as they have outlined here, guys. It's, it, nothing could be simpler. It's not mysterious or difficult at all. If you're used to using MetaMask or if you've ever had to add, say, Polygon Network or Avalanche or any other, or, or Binance Smart Chain, any other alternate EVM style networks to MetaMask. It's as simple as can be, at least from a user's perspective. But yeah, simply put in a custom RPC, fill out the details as you see above. You're still going to use etherscan.io as your block explorer, unless you prefer a different one because there are alternate block explorers out there for Ethereum and every other network. So you have some options to change some things. What you cannot change at all is the chain ID and the currency symbol. If you do that, it's going to be confusing when you use MetaMask, right? Um, a word of caution, or I guess an, an additional note, something that's noteworthy, is just to say that any kind of a hardware wallet like say the Ledger wallet or the Trezor wallet that connects through MetaMask or can let you sign with your private keys through MetaMask supports this change too. So there is no such thing as say like having to wait for Binance Smart Chain support or Polygon support or Avalanche support on those hardware wallets. If it functions like the Ethereum virtual machine, if it functions like Ethereum, signing transactions in a similar way, then all you need to do is make those changes inside of MetaMask. I realize this is a lot more than just that news right there, uh, but I just wanted to add that little bit of info. We'll be doing some wallet how-tos and some wallet reviews in the very near future. You've already seen me do a couple of wallet reviews on, well, wallets like the SecuX and like the Elipal and some others. And we're going to talk about why I have chosen my favorites and what those favorites are, but I'll give you a hint. A lot of it has to do with being able to make changes like this, right? Putting the user in full control over what happens in their usage of the blockchain. So just remember, this is another option. How does this benefit you? Well, it allows you to send your transactions privately because only Ethermine is finalizing them. Once they're written to the blockchain, they are permanent, right? So it's not as though Ethermine can reverse it after the fact. They can't reverse it after the fact. The block that they've written that gets confirmed into the blockchain, you know, every we'll we'll just say 12 to 20 seconds, right? If it's if it's early or if it's or if it's late, it gets logged into the blockchain. And then 
after several additional blocks are written on top of it, it's locked in permanently, right? Those transactions just happen permanently. This will help you if you're on a decentralized exchange like Uniswap or One Inch Dex uh, or any other decentralized service, AMM or protocol that works on Ethereum. So, guys, in this video, you've learned how to make the change in MetaMask. You've learned that you can use any hardware wallet that is supported by MetaMask to keep your private keys safe while using the Ethermine RPC. And you've learned that it's not dark or mysterious. It's just a new RPC that you can use and a service that Ethermine is offering now. And this is, again, my promise to you, things are never going to be the same again. Expect to see private final, uh, private block writing like this, uh, the finality of blockchain or Ethereum at least, go private like this from different mining pools and then in the future from different validators, right? When the beacon chain is merged on Ethereum, expect to see this become the uh, new normal, right? Where there are private entities offering finality of blockchain transactions on Ethereum and other networks. For better or for worse, guys, this is how things are, are just going to be. Well, thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the very end, hitting the thumbs up button, slamming the subscribe button and clicking the bell icon very delicately. It's, it's a delicate thing. You have to then do another little action there. So you're notified when new videos like this come out. You are the reason I make this media. I love your face. Remember to stay private and mind your biz.